friends, this is Mama's in the Kitchen. And I have had a request to show how to rinse that quinoa correctly. Now, I know you guys think this is crazy, this request, because who doesn't know how to rinse something out, right? I think what the problem is, is that I keep saying you really, really, really got to rinse it, otherwise it's going to taste soapy. It's There's not a soap on the seed. It's something else. I, I just say it tastes like soap because it does for me but the main thing you want to do now here's my quinoa I buy it in bulk just as this lady uh, has requested me to make this this video uh, this video for her um, now uh, I buy it in bulk as well I don't buy the prepackaged because you're gonna find that it has a lot more salt in it but I mean if that's all you can find and that's the way you like it you know Hey, more power to you. But I think that, that those need to be rinsed too, but you can't rinse the seasoning off of them, right? So the ones that are prepackaged, I don't buy. But it's kind of like you do the same thing you would with rice. Now, rice is a grain, and quinoa is a seed. That's the only difference. That's the only difference. And with rice, you take a cup, and you uh, make it in, in two uh, cups of broth. With quinoa, it's a cup and a half, so it's half of the difference. So, that, and, and because you don't want soggy quinoa, you don't want soggy rice. Okay, depends on what you're making, right? All right, so basically, I'm going to try and show you what I mean when I say you really, really got to rinse. Let's see if I can do this. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to put your fingers through it. See? Really run them fingers through it. All right. This is not going to be a cooking show because I, I've showed you how to make uh, quinoa. Really no big deal. Uh, I, I do add a little bit of butter to mine. Uh, it just gives it a creamier taste. But real butter and very little. Not a, not a lot. Anyway, so you run your fingers through it as much as you can. I take about five minutes to rinse my quinoa. Really, honestly, that's just the best way to get everything out of it. Now, if the water is not clear, well, you can't tell from there, but the water was kind of yellowish. What you want to do is you want to use another bowl, put it in there, and then shake your quinoa. Shake it like that. Shake the quinoa. And uh, it will have some bubbles. At, at first, it's going to have a lot of bubbles. It's going to look, it's going to have like a soapy consistency. But then, once it's really, really rinsed, you're going to notice that it's very little. You're not going to see so many bubbles. And the water's going to come out clear. So what I do, that's what I do. So I've been, sitting, I've, I've been doing this for a while before, the video, before I turned on the video. So my quinoa's pretty clean by now. So, then what you want to do, after you wash your quinoa and really, really, really rinse it out. I don't know if you can tell, the water is clean now. And it's still, it'll still be a little, but not as much as it was at the beginning. All right, so what you want to do is you want to shake that water out. You do not want the water at all. You want to make sure this quinoa is dry. Oops. And if some of it falls, you can put it back in, start all over again, like I did. All right, so you want to make sure that water is totally out before you start putting it in some more water. And it takes a while to drain, so you may want to just leave it draining while you're getting your, your pan ready. Uh, I don't, uh, I usually try to just, uh, I make it, that's one cup, right? So I, I measure a cup and a half of water. All right. A cup and a half of water, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the stove. And I use, oh, it's behind you. <laughs> I use chicken broth powder. Now you can use bouillon, chicken bouillon. You can use the powder or you can use your broth. I think uh, broth would be better, but here 
for me, it just doesn't last in my house. So I just I just get the powder. Or I have bought these. Now, uh, let me pull one out. I've, I've bought these. But these you don't want to use for the quinoa because one of these is like for three quarts of, it's like for soup. So unless you can, you know, you can use half of it and put the other half in something else. I just hate using it, you know, wasting it. I have this little spoon that I use for this particular thing and I just use half of it. I don't fill it up. Anyway, I put it in my water. And you can season it any way. You can add cumin if you want. You can give it a smoky flavor. You can add you can add a little bit of chipotle. I mean, quinoa is you can make it you can make it taste any way you want. I mean, it's just, it's endless, the, 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 uh, the amount of flavors you can get out of quinoa. So, okay, this is completely dry now. There's no water coming out. There's no water. So I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to let it come to a boil. Get all my quinoa. I don't want none of it left behind. All right. And then... Kind of put them seeds down because sometimes they stick to the. Now I do, I don't always use this this uh, particular pan. Sometimes I use a a a, a little pan. Um, I had a friend come over. I've got this one in the sink, but I, sometimes I use this pan. It doesn't matter how you make it. You can make it long ways up. You know whatever. Uh, and what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of butter. Just a little bit. Just gives it a, a creamy taste. And yes, I do use real butter. I don't use margarine. <laughs> okay, and, and, and look. Mama's almost out of her quinoa. Gotta go get some more. So I hope this helps. You're gonna let it come to a boil. Uh... I really didn't want to teach how to make quinoa again, but I guess I am. You, you let it come to a boil, and um, when it comes to a boil, you're going to turn it down to a very low simmer. And you don't start looking at it. You wait 20 minutes. Put your timer. Look at my, look at my cute little timer. Isn't that adorable? My husband got me that. <laughs> I'm a rooster person all the way. I love roosters. Anyway. Put your timer on for 20 minutes. Go somewhere. Go get on the video or whatever. And um, in 20 minutes, you let it sit. Do not just just come turn it off. Do not look at it or nothing. You don't want the steam to come out. Just turn it off. Once you turn it off, you wait about another 15 minutes. You come back, and it's going to be mwah! It's going to be perfect. I promise you that. <laughs> All right, guys. And yes, I made this video in October. Um, you like my, you like my my uh, my pumpkin. All right, guys. Be blessed. I see you. And I hope I hope this was helpful. I love you. And thanks for the question.